today we are going to talk about uh, artistic wonder Rina Saini Kalat from India. So she does these incredible mm, large installations, paintings, salt sculptures uh, that talk about borders and inequalities and natural natural borders versus man-made borders. She works in Mumbai and her husband Jaitish Kalat is also an artist. She has worked in Chimbai on the Bandara coast, working on these saline notations, in, which I really enjoyed. She uses uh, different languages, English, Hindi, and then uh, lets her messages drift into the ocean. They're really lovely. She also talks about how borders are salient, right? How these these waters connect all of us even and how borders are really a human concept. Her family was really affected by partition. So a lot of her family was uh, forced from Lahore, Pakistan in 1947, as were many Indians forced to Pakistan and vice versa um, during this really uh, difficult part of India and Pakistan's heritage. So she makes uh, art about this. She made a tea kori, so a fusion of a tiger and a markor, which are the national animals of India and Pakistan. She also makes, she, makes work about different countries that have contentious borders like North and South Korea, the US Mexican border, the one that I just mentioned, the Sayocus, where she has these two trees as um, connected. Some are lungs that talk about how important, right? How important the natural world is for, for us and that we have created these borders that separate uh, us. A really interesting work. She uh, worked on this piece called Chorus, where she did these uh, large sculptures, and they were made for World War II for um, following aircraft. But they, she created them so instead of recording like spying aircraft, instead it was bird songs. So really lovely. She also does these works with rubber stamps that record missing people and talks about bureaucracy, government, inequalities, right? That some people might just be totally missing, like like not given immigration status. And then she makes uh, portraits out of these stamps to kind of make these missing people come alive. She has other ones about missing and lost monuments in India as development uh, covers them up. So really lovely, Rina Saini Kalat, she was born in 1973, and her work is in a lot of really lovely galleries across the world, in India, in Mumbai, uh, in the MoMA, Tate, uh, Seoul, Singapore, all over. So uh, I hope you can check out her work and enjoy. All right, bye.